Hey guys! So today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to be turning an empty shed into a pub, bar kind of thing. I think that Gus doesn't have any competition and there really is a market for a pub here in Pelican Town. So this is my first time doing a decorating kind of video. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments and if I should do more of these kinds of videos. Alrighty, let's get started. First, you will need a shed. A deluxe shed is preferred because it's bigger and gives you more room for creativity. And then we need to decide on what kind of flooring and walls. Thankfully, with the help of the catalog, it's pretty easy to try out a bunch of different options until you're happy with the look. I went with a dark flooring and a nice red wallpaper with some wood linings. I think it would suit a pub vibe. It gives that nice rustic wooden look that I quite like. Next up, I had to make the main bar counter. I used these small end tables and after fiddling with them for a while, I noticed just a weird thing. If you place an end table over another one, sometimes it flips and faces the wrong way. That was perfect for what I needed. I didn't want the drawers to be visible from the other side, so accidentally figuring this out was perfect. It just looked kind of weird with the drawers visible. On the leftmost side, I wanted to include a small area for storage. So I tried stacking and tables and then placing a fireplace in front of it to hide it from customers. This is where I would store all of the booze and I think it made the pub feel a tiny bit more realistic. And I even added a stove and a chest here to really sell it as an area that shouldn't be visible to the customers. Figuring out the tables and chairs was a little bit tricky. I wanted to go with a green and woody look and these green benches were perfect for what I planned. But the problem was that the benches were 3 tiles long and the tables were only 2 tiles long. Luckily there was a smaller 1 tile long table. It didn't have the same pattern but I think it worked out alright if I placed it right up against the wall and placed some decorative item on it. This kind of table did take a lot of space in the pub and I thought some variety in the tables would be cool. Some smaller tables for people in smaller groups. Luckily, the game has some smaller chairs with green cushions so it worked out really well. I actually think I prefer the look of the smaller tables than the larger one. To mix it up even more, I included a round table with these very small chairs. I used the same chairs that are being used for the bar table and it started getting a little bit cramped. So that was enough of the larger tables. Only smaller tables from here on. I used a bedside table facing the wrong way to represent those very small tables and bars and pubs. These are just for two people and I think it really tied the room together. It allowed me to fill up the space and allow for more seating for my customers. This whole barn would not have been possible without the furniture catalog because I was playing around with every single piece of furniture that exists in the game and that is just not possible without the furniture catalog. You would have to run around and buy furniture with gold and maybe you won't even use it. Furniture catalog was a real lifesaver for me. Winter in Stardew Valley is extremely cold. As soon as winter hits, it starts to snow and then it continues to snow for the entire season and only warms up when spring starts. So in winter, Stardew is very cold. That's why a nice fireplace was a must. I knew I had to incorporate a fireplace into this pub, but the way fireplaces work, they can only face one way. So this was unfortunately the only place I could place the fireplace. Unless I wanted to make the bar area smaller and place it against the wall. I used a nice red rug in front of the fireplace and used some green cushions and a wooden bench. There's quite a lot of seating by this fireplace, which is perfect. After decorating a bunch, I came back during the night and I got quite a surprise. It's extremely dark in the shed at night, which actually makes sense, but there weren't any lighting sources that I really liked for this room. So I figured out an interesting trick. You can use torches to light areas and hide them behind furniture. That way, you can introduce lighting into your room and completely hide the ugliness of the torches. 
A simple way to do this is place an end table and then place a torch behind the end table. The torch will still slightly show behind the end table, so you can place any decorative piece on the table and in most cases, the torch is completely hidden. I placed a bunch of torches in here to make it very well lit during night. There are quite a few behind the bar counter. There's one behind the mini jukebox and behind the plants at the entrance to the pub. They really do make a big difference and if you aren't specifically looking for them, you will hardly notice that there are even there. At some point in decorating this, I thought that the flooring was too repetitive, so I just had to add some carpets and rugs. The problem with carpets is you can't place a carpet under furniture, otherwise that would be magic. At least you can place furniture on top of a carpet. So I had to move all of the chairs and tables, place the carpet first and then move the furniture back onto the carpet. The carpets really help put this room together, making it feel more roomy and less repetitive. I was almost done with the room, but I thought planting some hops in here might be fun. Then the pub could really be self-sufficient. After some minor alterations and adding a squirrel on the sign in front of the pub, it was done. The torches added a nice glow to the room and I was very happy with how it turned out. Putting some beer and pizzas on the table made it really feel like something is happening in here. Unfortunately, it is just me in here alone. This is a new pub after all. People are still used to going to the Star Drop Saloon. I just need to try and convince the townspeople to come here and give it a try. I actually have a chest in the storeroom here with the raw materials you could use to make beverages and I have a secret ingredient. This pub is all about instant service, so I always make sure to keep fairy dust here also. That way I can instantly make a drink for someone as soon as they order it. Fairy dust is extremely expensive to craft. It needs a fairy rose and a diamond, but it should be fine. This establishment is not about profits. I also added a mini jukebox for music. This is quite a fun little item. It allows you to play any song in the game, which is really cool. And any good pub has music, so this is just a must. To get this mini jukebox, you need to become friends with Gus. And once you have reached 5 stars with him, he will give you this jukebox. If only he knew I was going to use it to make it another pub. If you beat the arcade games at the Star Drop Saloon, you can actually get the arcade machines and put them in the pub as well. I just didn't have space for it in here, unfortunately. And that is my little pub. What do you think? Do you have any tips to improve it? I'm still very new at decorating in Stardew Valley and have a ton to learn, but I'm pretty happy with this. If you like this video and you want me to do more of these, please let me know what kind of rooms you would like me to decorate next. And as always, I will see you in the next video.